AI, artificial intelligence is taking over the world and with it you need data. Data is the oil to AI, you need data to train machine learning models, to deploy artificial intelligence models, uh, so it's really crucial to have a good access to data and also be able to uh, compute the models on the data provided, uh, usually in a private way because you don't want your data to leak to the parties that are not interested, that you are you have not authorized. So in this video, I'll be talking about data protocols, data tools, uh, data blockchains. All of these uh, tools have their own respective tokens. Uh, in the past video, in the, mo the most recent video, I've been talking about AI blockchains, uh, blockchains where there are different components of artificial intelligence built into a blockchain and this time I'm going to talk about uh, data blockchains and data tools. Most of them work in a way that uh, you just scale uh, the operation so that the storage on the blockchain is really high and you are able to store a lot of data uh, coming from streaming, coming from finance, coming from different areas uh, of life and business. Uh, so let's get started with Ocean Protocol. Ocean Protocol uh, together with the RLS token that I will mention in a moment are the biggest on this list uh, and they've been operating for quite some time already. Uh, Ocean Protocol already invites you with uh, data being the new asset class and they offering Ocean Market where, which is a decentralized market to publish, discover and consume data. Uh, there's different ways to earn rewards by locking your token and curating data, different data challenges, so a cool fun ecosystem. Second on my list is iExec with RLS token, uh, which is also not only data storage, but also a computing uh, scalable uh, solution, uh, which is also pretty cool. Uh, and this is one of the two biggest uh, data blockchains uh, that I that I mentioned here in this video. Uh, third on the list is Streamer. Uh, Streamer focuses basically on the data coming from streams, so decentralized real-time data network. Uh, we, because basically, if you stream, you produce a lot of data, and this kind of data is really bad uh, accustomed to, uh, for example, if you were to store it on Ethereum, that would be impossible, would cost too much, uh, and the, you don't have this kind of throughput on Ethereum, so you need to do something different. And this is what Streamer is doing and the problem it's solving. Next on the list, we have Parsec, uh, which comes more with the APIs, so that if you need data for your blockchain applications, uh, you can use Parsec to provide you with a different kind of data, uh, going with data lakes, data hubs, Tsunami API. Uh, so there's a bunch of solutions here that you can use. Uh, next on the list is MDT, Measurable Data Token. Uh, this is on the other hand more for the consumers uh, and it allows you to monetize your own data uh, for the things that you are already doing. So uh, start earning by doing what you already do. The more value your data generates, the more you earn. Uh, so the idea here is that uh, you'll be able to take your data and monetize you monetize it in the way uh, that it's uh, comfortable to you. Next on the list is Zeus. Uh, this is uh, really a, a storage solution and basically it allows you uh, to store privately your data. Uh, so this is a solution going, uh, a competition to cloud services. Uh, also, you can earn rewards by becoming a service provider. Uh, so basically, this is a decentralized, decentralized storage uh, solution uh, with this. Uh, then on the list, we have Platon, uh, which is privacy preserving AI network. Uh, this is mostly for uh, scaling, especially computing. Uh, and it allows you to uh, also have much more storage than uh, usual blockchains. Uh, and finally, on the list, we have another API uh, provider. Uh, this is Covalent. Uh, this and uh, together with Parsec, they provide the, the most APIs to different data points on the blockchain. So if your uh, if your uh, blockchain uh, project needs data, this is one of the potential solutions. So all in all, uh, we have uh, eight projects that I've mentioned concerned and focused on data and different aspects of that. Uh, this is the general overview. I will be coming back to some of those projects um, in our respective videos. I just wanted to have this big overview. Uh, and general note is that uh, 
those these are great uh, when it comes to technology but uh, this is not definitely not a financial advice if you're thinking about buying one of those tokens do your own research because of course there's no direct correlation be, be uh, between having a great tech and a market price so none of this is a recommendation to buy especially that we are in a bear market and we can go much much lower uh, still so definitely though have uh, have a look at the, each of those uh, websites and check each of those projects because I think uh, they're doing great stuff when it comes to building because uh, in a blockchain space in crypto we need uh, more data and we need definitely more AI models and more technology uh, to do really cool stuff. So thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos about uh, crypto tech and see you in the next video.